Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the continuing adventures of Nom Nomulus the Black Belt. I have just uh, trekked through the swamp and acquired of my first rune. Uh, these are my items. I hope you like them. Give it a lick. It tastes just like rainbows. No, no, that that's that's uh, not it at all. I have four scrolls of free charging. Ugh, that's a lot. Want to save them for nothing? Because I'm an idiot. Who doesn't use his shit when he gets it? Um, got an amulet of faith, which is a good one actually for me. Uh, and it has acquired me a, quite a reasonable number of god gifts now. Uh, you'll notice a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six weapons. Is it six weapons and a shield? And then there's another large shield. Yeah, so that's no, it's five weapons and a couple shields. The only, uh, the only reason that I'm not mad, though, is that I'm currently wearing god-gifted boots and, and gloves that are giving me slaying bonuses and resistances to electricity, so... Kinda hard to say no to that, even if they are negating... I, I could have three more AC if I put on a real pair of boots. <sighs> the cap is also a pain in the neck. Anyway, bottom line is, I'm doing okay, I just... Not willing to commit resources yet, and that's a bad, bad thing of my part. Um, I'm just curious, is there anything inside here? I know people used to like put secrets deep inside the lair, but no, okay, it looks like this is fairly, fairly kosher. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what to do next. Uh, spider pits are certainly a possibility now that I've proven that I can handle myself with or without the R poise just using dragon form, and uh, because I can kill hydras in one blow, and I can kill dragons in one or two blows. And, you know, I think I just made my decision. I'm going to go to the spider nest next. However, before I do, I've decided that I want to get rid of the minus 20% HP. Uh, that, right now, is at least going to put me up to 140 health, possibly closer to 145. So, take me to the entrance of the Lair of Beasts. And this is probably going to cost me a little bit of piety to do, but, you know, I don't really care at this point. Um, we're going to ditch the Scrolls of Recharge, and, you know, we're going to read the Scrolls of Amnesia and get rid of some of the, the really problematic ones, namely the Beastly Appendage and the Spider Form. Uh, is haste available yet? No, okay, so I have just the wand for my hasting. Um, I don't need any of- there's several of these that I don't need, but I don't need to get rid of them either. I just kind of really- I nearly killed myself with that spider form before, since it interfered with and removed dragon form, and I was in a situation where I couldn't reliably just get it back, so... Kind of sort of put off because of that. Cure mutation, baby. Uh, now, I have so many mutations that there's- that it's virtually guaranteed I won't get rid of them all, so let's hope I get rid of just the bad ones and see what happens. Hey, I got rid of all of them! Agile, robust, robust, less resistant to hostile enchantments, regain control of your magic, vision seems duller. Okay then. Oh, I had wild magic, which made my magic less easy to cast. Now that it's more easy to cast, uh... I guess it won't make a huge difference, because it's already pretty easy to cast, but yay! Um, if I remove my wizardry ring, by the way... How bad a penalty are we talking about here? Dragon form is still 25-ish percent. So, you know, bad. But then this ring has slaying bonuses on it, so it's not like I don't like the ring. I'm just curious. Alright, hey, you know, you're just gonna get beaten up by a stick. I'm not even gonna unequip for you, alright? Beat you to death with a stick. Into the spider nest. Oh my god, first thing that happens, I meet Nikola Tesla, and the good news is, I got those fancy-ass boots of uh, resist electricity. Now, when I go dragon form, I'm pretty sure I would lose the boots. So normally I would dragon form here, but because I'm up against Nicola, instead I'm just going to blade hands. And that should preserve my resist electricity. And that leaves me free to ream Nicola. And any arcing of lightning he does is going to hurt everybody else just as much. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna pull. I, I don't. I don't want to take on multiples at once and then get confused and then get in trouble. This would have been the shortest video ever. So let's just go ahead and recharge and 
this since I know what I'm going into, we're totally going to start off by putting out the blade hands, and then we're going to go into it. And you know what? We're just going to pull. We're just going to pull right off the bat. Uh, I got confused, which sucks. I have 6-5 curings, which is enough, so we're just going to quickly knock down these. I won't get confused if I remain in dragon form most of the time, but uh, again, for the exact reasons I just have shown, it's, I, I got hit by chain lightning repeatedly and took virtually no damage. If I had been in dragon form, I do not believe that would have happened. I think I would have taken a lot more damage. Now granted, I would have been a dragon, and 150 health is a lot of health, but uh, well, I, I, let's just say that I would rather have the resist electricity against Nicola, and leave it at that. I don't think I really have to justify why resist electricity is, a, that is good against the most powerful electric mage in the game. Uh, right. Just take three. Hey, Nicola. Okay, we've got more jerks coming here for the slaughterhousing. And I will happily slaughterhouse them all. I'll go with ten unfilled health, why not? Somebody come. Good. We got him. And I say we got him because he's the... Oh my god, I'm almost dead. What the hell is hitting me? I have resist electricity. I just... Okay, we gotta blink as far away as we can possibly get in one turn. And then quaff heal wounds right away. And then... Put on regeneration. And since you're all in a line, we gotta blast you all in the line. And then keep running. Okay. I am poisoned, held... I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna blink way the hell away again. Uh, they're gonna keep chasing me. That's a given. I have no means of summoning anything. I have no means of attacking with alternate attacks. I can potentially blast them with draining from this range, which I will do. Uh, if I remove blade hands first. Um, I should cure out of poison, that's for sure. And then we'll just continue backing off. Nice and slow. Okay, that's a kill. Uh, I want to round the corner, actually, so that Tesla doesn't see me, or Nicola doesn't see me. Good. Now, Nicola's going to come for me. That's fine. Of course he is. That's his job. My job is to be ready for him when he does. So I'm creating a lattice that he will have a hard time following me through. And when he finally comes to me, he will find me with the might of a hero and the blades of Edward Scissorhands. Okay, and he gets to blink exactly where he needs to to avoid me. Jerk. Listen, you want to fight me, you fight me on my conditions. There, and then you die. <sighs> okay, I burned a lot of blink scrolls there. Um, this is why I keep spares lying around. Let's go and get those. Oh, motherfucker, I have Blink the spell. I gotta remember that next time. I don't need to use all the Blink scrolls just for the sake of every Blink. Although in this case, I suppose I also was in a near-death situation. I, I still don't know what dealt me so much damage so easily uh, when I was adjacent to those three. I don't feel like they should have been able to deal that much damage. In fact, you know what? Maybe I can still see... Nicola points to shred. It was the wolf spiders, actually. The wolf spider was getting two attacks for every one attack I got in. Yeah, that's what it was. And then, of course, Nicola wasn't doing zero damage, even though I was resisting the electric component. But now that's all over. It's time to do what I do best. Dragonize. And oh boy, do I do that well. Firstly, look at what happens to my health. Now that I no longer have the encumberment of minus 50 per, or 20% HP, I now have a massive 220 health. That's for starters. Secondly, uh, resist poison. True resist poison. So all these uh, little poisonous jerks are non, a non-issue to me. Third, 
the attack of a dragon. I can just rip these things apart with triviality. Put it all together and I am, I am in dragon form again. Make sure that I have that staff of energy up before I transform, just to mitigate the constant penalty of having to do it over and over. And I suppose I should hold out for clean corpses, uh, since I'm not using massive quantities of hunger ink. Oh, I don't need to use my breath. I can shoot stuff at these guys. I should probably get a longer range conjuration since I'm using it to pick off fleeing enemies primarily. Oh, that's a form. Don't let dragon form lapse, baby. And we'll just rip everything to shreds. Time to shred. I do love that they actually call it shred shredding. Uh, in the text. Yay, he died, and I got a sword. Of course, dragons don't use swords. Draconians, maybe, but... Draconians who spend 50% of their time transforming into dragons don't use swords either. I love that I'm poisoned and my health isn't going down because of the re inherent regeneration. Oh, 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 oh. A fire elemental here can only mean one thing. Azrael is near. If Azrael is here, then I sh should be prepared for him. So let's give me some distance to work with. Kill the fire elemental. Yep. Let's go ahead and make some noise. Uh, heroism is going to prove very helpful here, just for the evade, if nothing else. The thing about Azrael is it's not so much that I'm concerned about him killing me as I am about losing a whole lot of scrolls killing him. And I'm also not liking that I'm, uh, how hungry I've, I've gotten here. Let's go ahead and do that, and then rewield the staff of energy. I never killed Azrael, which means if he was here at all, and I'm confident that all those things at once means he was totally here, uh, then he's still at large. Oh, please let these spiders leave corpses. Oh my god, I thought spiders left clean corpses. Oops. Okay. Thank god they're getting rid of Nausea later on. I don't remember which build it is, but Nausea is so not going to be in the game forever. Um, losing hunger status with a honeycomb. Man, it almost makes me want to go Amulet of the Gourmand over uh, Amulet of Faith. Almost, not quite. Oh, you can't cast spells when you're starving. Shoot. And I can't throw anything either, and I probably can't use a wand, but I might as well try. No, can't use a wand. Oh, he jumped. Get me out of here. Hunger is going to beat the death of me. Let's go ahead and eat a bread ration. And regen fully. Okay, and give me my real rod back. Dragon form. There's Azrael. I knew he was somewhere. I didn't predict Donald, though, and I'm pretty sure Donald can't abyss. I think that's his buddy who can. So we'll just... Okay, nope, Donald can abyss. <laughs> cannabis. And I have now been, uh, abyssed. But the thing is, with a dig and flight, the abyss is, uh, certainly runnable. And with haste, as well, and dragon form, there are several enemies in the abyss that I can actually kill. The only real concern I have is starvation, um, because, you know, what I'm doing isn't exactly resource cheap. So here's the hoping that... I find a nice stack of food or something while I'm down here, or a nice butcherable uh, corpse at some point. Should we have free flight, yeah? Yeah, okay, good. Let's do that. Okay, that is concerning. What the hell is that? Circle on the wall. 
probably means there's an angel nearby, and it's a graphical glitch from the angel's halo. Okay, I got no idea. It's gone now, whatever it was. Let's continue searching. Um, it could be a while in the abyss, actually, now that I think about it. And unfortunately, when I get out, I'm going to be adjacent to a full health Donald and a full health uh, guy who I was scared of but don't remember his name. Um, it's Blade Hands here. I don't want to go Dragon Form. It's kind of expensive on the hunger. Make sure to keep the staff in hand. Pretty sure that guy can mutate uh, me. The orange demon, I mean. I'm equally sure that I don't exactly want to unequip a faith amulet. So, I'll just deal with it. Take something more like an eyeball for me to really decide that no, I need to get out. I get my resist mutation out. Remember, I have three spare resist mutation potions for those of you who aren't familiar. So, I can afford to be a little bit more lax about it. Uh, staff of energy and dragon form, because I see a large number of enemies coming and I need to take them all out. I, mean, I don't have to take them all out, but I would rather do that than try and run from all of them. And of course, of course, I get fucking s nausea again. I tell you, if they took nausea out, this build, I'd be pooping roses on easy straight. I wouldn't have been nauseated once. I would never have had to dip into my ration sources. Which, quite frankly, exists so that I can combat nausea, so I don't know why I'm complaining, except that it's irritating. Alright, anyway, uh, enough bitching. Let's wait for the sickness and nausea to wear off, sort of. Not really wait, you should never wait in one place in the abyss. I still have full mana, so clearly my mana regenerator is good. Okay, this calls for immediate, immediate action. Liches are deadly. They can uh, blast you with, uh, they can blast you with crystal spears. You can get mutated, as you can see I'm at negative 20% HP all over again. Um, and they can abyss you, which I guess isn't that big a deal when you're already there. This, on the other hand, I did not anticipate, and, uh, fuck. Now I'm in serious trouble. Let's eat that ration ASAP, whatever rations I have. I, I might as well use, rather than not use. This dragon form is about to expire, and once it does, my health is going to be truly precarious. Regen on. Regen on again. Can't stomach food, including my own. Goddamn. Okay, uh, that's a reasonable amount of base health to be maneuvering with. Let's make sure I keep regen up, though, because it's, it's going to increase the rate at which I hunger, but it's better than dying. If I get out of the abyss and have no food left, I still have at least eight rations worth of food in the dungeon, so it's important not to lose perspective with regard to how much food I use. Oh my god, three scrolls of blinking in one stack. Awesome. Hell, that even might make this trip worth the trip. Uh, let's pound these things a little bit. Yay, another god gift. That's another weapon that's fucking useless to me. I will actually take it with me. In case I can get out of here, I can leave it in the stack of useless things Okuwaru has given me. You know, the reasons I questioned the faith amulet decision. I just am using my fly spell and- Oh crap! Losing buoyancy. Let's regenerate that. Full health, full food stat. well, reasonable food status, and uh, continuing to explore the abyss, trying to get out. Actually, if I wait here long enough, the walls will eventually open. No? Okay, never mind. Orange brain usually means getting mutated for me, so let's hope that doesn't happen. I really am pissed off that I- oh, it's a hellion! If I can kill him, it's going to be worth a lot to my EXP. Uh, I would almost want to blink just to try and cover ground, but in the Abyss that's not going to be any faster. Because you're just as likely to stay put and not move. Yeah, I was worried about this happening. Um, 
he's just lit me on fire, so all my scrolls are gonna burn. Let's save the most important scrolls, namely the blink scrolls and uh, the magic mapping scrolls. And everything else is less important, but we can lose them piece by piece. Remove curse, teleport, ID, and I'm no longer lit on fire. Eventually, if you're not running a permanent source of conservation, which, let's be honest, most people don't, you will hit a point in the game where all your potions will break and all of your scrolls will be burned up, and there's not much you can do about it. Uh, that's why wands of teleport are so, uh, so important. And also why I leave the wands of recharging and such, or the scrolls of recharging and such elsewhere. Because ultimately, I'm, I can always go back for them, is, is the logic. Maybe carry one if you really need the well, the uh, flexibility. Okay, uh, I'm doing okay in the Abyss, all things considered, but if you don't consider all things, I'm in trouble. Let's add strength this time instead of intellig instead of dex, uh, considering that I spend most of my do most of my damage in dragon form, which is a strength based bonus, not a dex based bonus. Eighty health. I'm going to go staff of energy before fighting these guys, and I am going to go dragon status. Just so that I don't have to deal with the crap they do. Dragons should be resistant to mutation IMO. Just the logic being they're fucking dragons. I kind of want to because I just activated fly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. That's fine. It said, do you want to go over the deep water while everything's expiring? And I'm like, of course it's expiring, but I have fly on separate, so it shouldn't... Okay, random teleport in the abyss to a new area. Do I actually have any weapons worth enchanting at all? Uh, no, okay, so... Because I would just totally blow all my enchant... Weapons. You know how I was a little bit nervous about the uh, ordinary lich? Well, ancient liches aren't just old people. They're actually significantly more scary. So, he's worth a dragon all by himself. He, in, in the end, he didn't even attack me, which is nice. But he totally could have. And if he had, I would have been totally glad that I did what I totally did. Okay, what the hell is my stealth value? Because these things take forever to notice me. And again, now it, I, I realize I'm, it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm just really... I'm very surprised when the game doesn't work exactly like I expected to. Yeah, that was the Lich, by the way. The Lich summoned the Hellion. The Hellion just burned the hell out of me. That's what I get for trying to use the cheap stuff and just going Blade Hands instead of full out Dragon. Just beat you up. Oof, sweet food. I'm gonna eat it right away. Clearly I'm not finding any corpses, so there's no point worrying about pre-eating food or not pre-eating food. <clears throat> Uh, okay, we're gonna go dragon here. Mostly because I'm just eager to get through the fight quicker. New staff, that's nice. We'll head off to the west because there's more enemies to the east. My mana is doing fantastically well. I think that all the spellcasting training I did just gave me a much bigger mana pool than I would normally have devoted to a non-primary caster. Please, God, tell me I'm... Okay, okay. I, I thought for a second maybe I'm not recording. I don't know why, but I am good. Okay, I just got mutated again. And this time, it's worse. Don't know why I got mutated. I was beating up the flimsy little purple guy, but... Oh, well. That's an orb of destruction. I gotta make absolutely sure it doesn't hit me. Now the lich is invisible. Uh, I killed him, because I knew where he was, but he nearly killed me back, so let's stand still and regenerate. There's no safe place to go. Stand still and regenerate. That's the goal. And keep that regeneration going, baby. I don't intend to let it lapse. Okay. Thank God when I get out of here, I'm going to be able to restore myself, otherwise... These mutations would have been miserable. 
What, you trying to grab me? You grab me, I grab you back. And then I bite your head off. And if you're a tentacled monstrosity, then I do it for the Japanese girls. At least look good if you're gonna be going all tentacle-ish and shit. Okay. That's, that's sufficient massacre. My health is reasonable again, so let's start behaving myself a little bit better. Why not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I must say, these dragon transformations last a very long time. Uh, again, possibly subjective, just, you know, when there's a lot happening, it feels like it takes longer. Um, so that's, that's kind of awesome. Maybe it's also objective. Maybe, uh, I, I, I've trained my dragon form high enough. I don't know. Whatever the reason, I'm very happy. It's like summon- it doesn't last as long as summon dragon does, but it's pretty close. It lasts a hell of a lot longer than Blade Hands is what it does. Okay, you know, being in the Abyss, my fighting and unarmed combat have both gone up a lot. Because I'm fighting high-level enemies. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, good. Wait, 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 wait. These guys are edible. I'm pretty sure these guys are edible. Yes, they are. Good. Um, I will bear that in mind in case I ever need it. Hellions generally... I don't think Hellions generally will attack their allies, so if I'm next to an enemy that's not fire or Hellfire immune, they're less likely to Hellfire me. And now is the worst time for this to happen. I'm going to ditch the Blinking Scrolls and the Teleport Scrolls, but everything else can go to shit because I don't have the time to deal with it right now. Okay, and I'm going to die, actually, just to the damage I'm taking here, uh, by the looks of it, so let's deal with that first. Um, okay, pick up these scrolls again and make a run for it. Heal. Heal. Okay. I would fight that bone dragon, but at half health, I'm worried he'll get a crit off or something. Ah, hell with it. Heroism. Now what? Now who's the better dragon, huh? Huh? That's right, it's me, not you. Me. Alright, you get plowed over. Let's keep that regen on. And, uh, let's eat that hog that I saved for just this occasion. Keep that heroism, or that regen on. Oh, god, I don't want to lose all of my scrolls here. Okay, you know what? We're gonna pre-drop the blink scroll and the teleport scroll in anticipation of getting liquid flamed because that's just what's going to happen because there's three of them and they have smite targeted attacks and 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 the thing is it looks like i'm surrounded but all these guys who are surrounding me are weaklings so it's not that big a deal that one uh, Lich is more scary than all these guys put together. Let's finish eating everything here. <sighs> heal wounds. Definitely want to heal wounds right now. Keep that regen on. Um, let's blast in the direction of the Lich, actually. Because once he's dead, half of these are just summons that won't come back. And I want to pick up my stuff now because I'm worried that the Abyss is going to send me away soon. Yeah, these are all just summons. Except these, this pack of demons is real. And that one orange demon is real. Okay, so yeah, let's just run. Regen and run. That's the plan. Regen and run. Regen and run. Regen and run. Regen and run. It's a, it's a combination strategy, see? Uh, I kind of want to eat, but I kind of obviously don't have the time. Um, so let's fly away. Skipper, fly away. And now we'll beat everything up. Because now, they don't have the backup of a lich and his army of summits. 
Now we eat. And uh, now we pray. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this vid here. Uh, I'm getting very frustrated, and that's generally a bad sign when you're trying to survive the abyss, which you should be playing with an even head. Uh, I'm pissed off in particular because I said Donald probably can't abyss you. I thought it was Luis who, and, and who primarily abyssed, and Donald just laughed about his surroundings and attacked you. But apparently he can abyss, so fuck him. Uh, and when I get back, there's a good chance I will die instantly because I left two very dangerous named uniques near each other so they can both beat me up. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I should be okay. One way or the other. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.